Hi, I'm Eileen, and today we're going to be going over Wylock 5th grade worksheet lesson 2. So, it asks us, write each number in expanded form with exponents. So the example gives us 413, and it put down like this. So all they did is just separate each number. So 4, it's in the hundreds place, so that means the exponent will be 10 by the exponent of 2. The tens place is only multiplied by 10 with the exponent of 1, and for ones place is multiplied by 10 with the exponent of 0. So we're going to be going over number 1 and number 5. So number 1, the number is 19. So all you have to do is just separate each number. So it's 1 times 10 and it's going to have an exponent of only 1, since it's in the tens place. And 10 times 1 is just 1. And the ex exponent of 1 means that there's only 1 10. Plus 9. And 9 is in the ones place, so it's only going to be multiplied by 10 with an exponent of 0. And that will be our answer. Next is number 5. And the number given uh, to us is 5,691. So we're going to separate each number. So it's only 5, which is in the thousands place. Since it's in the thousands place, it's multiplied by 10 with the exponent of 3. The reason why is if you multiply 10 three times, it gives us a thousand. And as we see here, five is in the thousands place. Moving on to six, which is a 600. So that will be just be multiplied by 10 with the exponent of two plus nine, which is in the tens place, which is multiplied by 10 with the exponent of one plus 1 with an x multiply by 10 with the exponent of 0 since it is in the 1's place. And that is our final answer. Here it asks us write each number in standard form. So it's what we did earlier. But all we do is just solve it and write the number. So I'm going to be going over 2 and 8. So for number 2, it's 14 times 10 with the exponent of 5. So that means it's basically 10 is getting multiplied by itself 10 times. Five times, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And all you have to do, since it's one times one is one, and just put three, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And all you do is multiply it 14. So it's just 14 with five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And that's our answer. Number eight. We're going to solve these separately. So we're first going to focus on this one. So it's 5 times 10 with the exponent of 5. And it's what we did earlier. Just multiply 10 by itself 5 times. So it's 5. Add 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add that with this one. And 4 times 10 with the exponent of 0. So the ones place, it's always going to be multiplied by 10 with the exponent of 0. So that means 4 is just in the ones place, just like that, 4. And if we add this, just be like this. And that is our answer. For this one, I'm going to do number 1. And number four. 
Number one, it says, first, complete each pattern. Number one, we're multiplying it with one, a positive one. So we see here, one with the exponent of zero is one. One with the exponent of one is one. So we have to get these. So the first one, one with the exponent of two. So that means just one times one. And if it's always one times one, no matter how much you multiply one with by one, like five times, it's always gonna equal one. So that means one with the exponent of two, it just means one. So that means one with the exponent of three, one times one times one will always be one. And that's our answer for number one. Number four, this time it's a negative number, negative one. So it gives us negative one with the exponent of one is negative one. Negative one with the exponent of two is positive one since negative one times negative one is going to equal positive one since a negative times a negative always equals a positive. So for number one with three, it's negative one times negative one times negative one. Since earlier, that's just this. That's just negative one with the exponent of two, which equals one. So if we multiply that with a negative one, that means it's a negative one. Since a positive times negative equals a negative. So that means negative one with the exponent of three is negative one. And four, negative one with the exponent of four If we just group these with these two and these two, and we have to multiply these, a negative one times a negative one is a positive one. Negative one times a negative one is a positive one. A positive one times a positive one will give us just one. And that's our answer. Lastly, we have a word problem. The word problem I'm gonna go with is number one. So it tells us, if the base is 5 and the exponent is 3, what is the number? So, that means the base is 5 and the exponent is 3, which is a small little number at the top. So always make sure to know the number right here is always a base. So the 5 is the base and the exponent, the small little number at the top, the 3 is always called an exponent. And that is our answer.